Okay, first up for Top Secret, we have this DVI thing. Then we're going to do some updates, a uh, big update with some toy hacking. So All right, let's see go for it. Other side. What is this? This is one of our TFP 401 based HDMI TFT backpacks. You got HDMI input here, converts here into a 24 bit TTL display. And when you connect to HDMI, there is this extra little E prom here. This is a 5 pin 24 LC04 or something. And this contains the EDID. That's the thing that allows whatever the computer is plugged into this monitor to know that this is an 800 by 480 um, uh, resolution display. And you have to have this EDID program. So normally what we do is we have like these pins here, you see, and then we connect to it with this Arduino shield. And I use this to burn the EDID in because the TFP 401 has nothing to do with it. It's, it's completely separately connected. Um, but this was really annoying because you'd have to like program this and then you'd have to test to make sure the EDID got programmed. So what we would do is you'd plug it into this uh, Latte Panda, which is a Windows 10 computer. Um, and then you can see the display is, is this is their five inch version of this backpack wired up and you can see a nice 800 by 480 display. Now you're wondering, why don't you use a Raspberry Pi? The Linux uh, caches EDIDs and so you can't use it to test EDID burning. Something that I learned uh, kind of by accident one day. Um, but now I've learned my lesson. So now I always use Windows because it always gets the EDID fresh. But I want to make it even easier and better. So now I've got my RP2040 Feather with DVI output. And it's got that DVI connection here. So instead of using this kind of fragile uh, Windows computer and a separate board, I have one design. You plug it in and you can get to the I squared C over HDMI. So I press the button and it will uh, connect to the display, find the EEPROM, program it, verify it, and then display a nice colorful fish tank so you know that display is working. So all in one, EDID burning and uh, testing. So I'm making Stuff easier to make here at the Adafruit Shop. My little hacker, my little hacker, building with you is magical. My little hacker, my little hacker, it's time to build and share. My little hacker, my little hacker, back. Okay. My little hacker's back. back. First, let's do the little video from Jepler. This is some bear stuff, and then we're going to go into the update for the uh, Baby Einstein. Um, Take along. Take along. Okay, bear it away. Hi, Jepler here. Did you know my high school nickname was Big Bear? Well, that's embarrassing. But this video is to show off the advances we've had with converting audio files and creating mouth movements for Teddy Ruxpin. Bye. All right, so that is the update on if you want to do some puppetry, make your own like Chuck E. Cheese animatronics. Pull the fur off of it, make your own little device, use ChatGPT, chat GPT, generate text, then do text write on your own story. Write your own story. Whatever you want to do, it's now possible the bears are on eBay for like 20 bucks, even less to shipping. And then our big update is Baby okay. Einstein. Take along. Music tunes. This is like part four in this series. Yeah. Okay, so we said we're gonna put a circuit board inside of it so you can have your own music and sound. Oh, yeah. Beep beep. Um, okay, so um, the Einstein Take Along Tunes is, it's actually like I looked, it's like one of the top toys uh, for sale on like Amazon. This is default issue if you have a kid. It's pretty default so, yeah. issue. So um, normally it uh, looks like this and it's got these like beads, so I don't know, I can play with it. Um, there's a one uh, switch that can go from high volume to low volume. I don't think this is going to come through because it has noise canceling, but yeah. it plays like little music tunes. Um, and it plays like kind of like you know your generic uh classical music um william tell overture type stuff i mean it sounds really good the audio quality is really good um but the audio cannot be changed and like the first thing when we got this um when uh baby ada was three months was like oh my god i gotta like put my own tunes on it i can't believe it you know you can't customize it um the case is really nice it's got like this battery pack this switch um, it's like really rugged. She also has songs she likes now. So we wanted to yeah. be able to take those with us for a very single serving device. Yeah. So we have the board. Okay. Right. So um, what we did in previous, um, uh, yeah, on, on previous versions of uh, My Little Hackers, we took um, this apart and opened it. And this was um, the board inside. So not surprisingly, uh, there's an epoxy blob. Um, there is a, uh, there's 
you know, a couple LEDs. There's like three LEDs, one red, one green, one blue, uh, kind of lame. Uh, so you can see the LEDs here, here, and here. I'm actually kind of surprised that these are true LEDs and not just like wire bonded on. Uh, I'll go only a couple components, and then, you know, there's the, the switch, um, which we have to recycle, and like maybe a switch cap converter here, and um, an elastomer button here. So um, we took this out, we scanned it, um and um retraced it out and then we decided okay let's let's try using an esp32 s2 and we like soldered one in and, and got it playing to the speaker and verified it can run off the battery um so the next step was we were going to design um a new pcb so um i think like two weeks ago i showed off the design for the new pcb it's um here it is well, actually i'll show it here this is what it looks like so um, I designed a new circuit board, which is the same overlay. Actually, it didn't, didn't come out too bad. It has the same holes and cutouts. And then the elastomer is in the same location. It was great with a scan because I just traced it over. Has an ESP32 S2, a micro SD card so you can store songs on it, USB-C for loading uh, data on and also programming it, STEM QT in case you want to like add some sensors or something. Um, boost converter, so it can run off of, these are the, the two battery connection tabs. So, uh, when you open it, um, these tabs over here get soldered directly to the circuit board and then it'll get boosted through to five, sorry, to 3.3 volts, um, here that can then drive this, uh, ESP32 S2, which means you can, the reason I went with Wi-Fi so you can wirelessly program it, because once it's in the case, it's really hard to get to, like, you don't want to keep opening it every time you want to change songs or change the code. Um, so you can use our Wi-Fi workflow to wirelessly program it. And of course, NeoPixels. So we've got five NeoPixels, almost twice as many LEDs, and they're RGB. So you can have way more colors. Um, and then this is the replacement. Hold on, I, I snapped this on. I can remove it. So this is the replacement. Um, and it just snaps in. I didn't put in the screws. Uh, but you don't actually need the screws. And then uh, the last one here. So I'm still working on... The battery booster, there's something not quite right with the changeover. I think one of my resistors is the wrong value, or maybe I didn't yeah. uh, check it right. But we're the... gonna have this for sale in the store, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna be this is a product. We wanna make a bunch of circuit board designs to people who wanna get into product development, people who wanna make one of these for someone they know. Yeah. But also just to give you an idea of the types of things that you can do with existing enclosures as yeah. well. So it's soldered into the battery tabs here. Um Again, the booster's not quite working, but it does work over you. But you know, that's part of the you know, revision process. I only got yeah. one. I got one way of going. So. So we have a light pattern, which you know, is, of course, it's going to be way better than the default toy thing. Yeah. But we also have. So you saw it's running. A song that we put on there too. It's uh, running Circuit Python because you can see the activity light. So I wish quickly. Uh, Dan Icon powered baby toys. That's right. Dan ha Halbert quickly did a board definition for me, so all of this stuff is working. Um, plugged in SD card. And what's really nice is, um, you know, it's ironic. I actually used ChatGPT to be like, hey, can you write the code for me? And it wasn't completely right, but it like I could copy and paste the lines. So I didn't have to, you know, write all the code from scratch. It was actually my code. I just didn't know where. It's on the learning system, one of the yeah. 4,000 guides. Um, so just to show like here uh, with the top on, and then, you know, this is the RGB LEDs yeah. lighting up. So you notice that the it's original PCB didn't get out to the left yeah this is running this is the um it's what's it called it's a chicken Beats or something? no it's like the chicken dance i think it's jp song or yeah. song somebody i don't know who wrote it and then um the second sound is, is stored on um the sd card so I'll, I'll play it again and then i'll hold it up wait <laughs> You do have noise canceling going on. I don't know if it's coming through. It. So it might be little... um, So right now the the button I can go to the overhead. So the button does um play pause. You know, there's only one button, so it does play pause. It's also used for bootloader mode. And of course I'll uh you know you can see the, the LEDs. So the LEDs can actually do some cool stuff. I might have them do like an FFT reaction so they react to the music. 
Um, so the good news is that, um, you know, a lot of the hardware works, you know, I can upload the I2S amplifier and this is using the built-in speaker, which is not too bad. Um, the I2S amplifier works and the SD card works and the ESP32 works and the NeoPixels work. Uh, and then this is a reset button, but um, I still have a little bit and the last one is good. So I just have to figure out this um, boost converter, probably do another board spin and then I'll probably be done. But so far um, it's working really nicely and uh, I like it fit, it fit just right into the all the slots and dots. Yeah, and then uh, just, you know, uh, these, everyone, they're everywhere, they're low cost, um, and uh, you know, you can hack and mod them, you can make it so you have your own single serving music player too. Yeah. Um, so we thought that was a neat idea for people to learn how to do all this stuff. How do you learn to be a toy designer? Um, this is a way, how yeah. do you learn to make all this type of stuff and have your electronics fit into enclosures? So. Anyways, so, so interesting stuff. So yeah, we'll be. Yeah. <laughs> That is this week's top secret.